get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, Halloween is upon us, and we got some fun things to do today. We got a couple of spooky songs. We got something new to listen to and a fun activity at the end. So you know what? Enough talking. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey, fourth grade. Fourth grade Halloween's coming up. And you know what? I got a song that's perfect for this holiday that's coming up because maybe you're thinking about a costume. Maybe you're thinking about dressing up as something. Well, this song gives you a chance to let us know what you're going to dress up as. Listen closely. I'll sing it for you. Listen. On a Halloween, Halloween, what are you going to be? On Halloween, Halloween, what are you going to be? In this song, you get to slide your voice around a little bit. It's sort of like a ghost. So listen, I'll sing it. You echo back. On Halloween, Halloween, what are you going to be? On Halloween, Halloween, what are you going to be? Good. Try the whole song with me. Ready? Here we go. On Halloween, Halloween, what are you going to be? On Halloween, Halloween, what are you going to be? Do you have a costume? I can think of one. On Halloween, on Halloween, I'm going to be a ghost. On Halloween, Halloween, I'm going to be a ghost. There are lots of other ones. What are some other ones we could be? What's that? A pirate, you say? Here we go. On Halloween, Halloween, I'm gonna be a pirate. On Halloween, Halloween, I'm gonna be a pirate. What else are you gonna be? A robot. That's a good one, too. On Halloween, on Halloween, I'm gonna be a robot. On Halloween, Halloween, I'm gonna be a robot. What's that? You're gonna be a Power Ranger. Well, good for you. Let's see if you can make it fit in the song. On Halloween, Halloween, I'm gonna be a Power Ranger. On Halloween, Halloween, I'm gonna be a Power Ranger. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Well, if you're going to be something, well, maybe you can sing this song while you're getting ready. And if you want to, you don't have to, but just if you want to, you could share your costume. You could share the song with us. So you can record yourself singing that song if you want to. You don't have to do this. But if you're getting dressed up, you have a costume, sing the song in your costume about what you're dressed up as. It's always fun to do. Share it with other people and make sure you share some of that candy too, okay? We're making music with our Falcon all right, fourth grade, I turn the lights back on, back to normal, as normal as I can be, I guess. We're going to take a trip, though. No, we're not going to Transylvania. We are going to Hungary. We did a song last week from Hungary called The Hungarian Canon. It's a nice Hungarian melody. There's no words. Let's sing it together. Here we go. Lou, 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 Good. Remember that song from last week? Remember, no words, just lose. Sing it and keep a beat with me. Here we go. Lou, 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 Lou. Great. You know, talking about Hungary, I just ate a whole bunch. I just ate like an entire chicken pot pie. Okay, so we need to work out a little bit. Got to burn off some calories. So you know what? Stand up. Stand up, everyone. Here we go. We're going to burn off some calories like we did last week. Do the Hungarian full body workout. Here we go. You can touch your toes, your knees, your sides, slap your belly. Here we go. Follow along. Lou, Lou. Ready? Lou, 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 Lou. Great. 
take a seat because here comes our picture that I had last week. Our picture of our Hungarian flags. Here we go. Take a look. Oh, you can learn lots of stuff in music class. You can learn about flags as well. Hungary, Italy, Hungary, Italy. Flip them. Okay, here we go. This is for the second phrase. Watch. Lou, 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 Lou. Okay. Can we point to that when we get to the second phrase? Sing with me. Lou, 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 Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Great. You know, I have a couple questions I'd like to ask about this. I'd like to see who has really good listening ears and who can figure out the answers to these questions. So, my first question for you is this. I want to focus on that phrase we were pointing to, the second phrase. Can someone tell me, in this phrase, we have a melody. I'd like to know, what direction does that melody go? What direction does the melody go? Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. What direction does that melody go? Lou, 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 Lou. It goes up, right. It starts low and it works its way up. Good. Next question. How many different pitches are in this melody? How many different pitches? Now, careful, careful. Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. Did you say six? Well, there are six sounds, but actually there aren't six different pitches because if you listen very carefully, we notice about the last two. The last two are the same. They're the same pitch. So really there aren't six different pitches. There's actually only five different pitches. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, well, let's not sing five twice. Let's just sing those five from low to high. Listen. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Can you sing it with me? One, two, three, four, five. Great. Now, getting some tricky questions here. We have five pitches. My question for you is this. Are there any skips in these pitches, or are we just going straight up? Are we just going up by steps? Listen. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't sound like there's any skips. It sounds like we're just going right up the scale. Okay. If you listen very carefully, though, there's something I need you to listen for. It sounds like they're all steps apart. But it sounds like two of the steps, it sounds like two of the numbers are a little closer in pitch than the other ones. Listen very carefully. In fact, this might even help you out. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Just listen to the five different pitches. Tell me, do any of the two numbers sound like they're a little bit closer together? Listen. One, two, three, four, five. Open your eyes this time. Listen. One, two, three, four, five. Can you hear that two of those numbers sound a little bit closer together in pitch? Did you figure out which two they are? That's right, three and four. Three and four are a step, just like all the other ones, except it's not as big of a step. It's a smaller step. Still a step, but it's smaller. One, two, three, four, five. Very interesting. It sounds like we have two different types of steps. It sounds like we have a big step and we have a little step. And in this phrase, we've got both of them. Sing it with me one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Exactly. Don't forget our song from Hungary because next week we're going to do a few more activities with it. But until then, go have a snack. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was, I'm just such in the Halloween sphere right here. I'm, I'm listening to a very famous piece of music you maybe have heard before. It's called Toccata and Fugue in D minor. You maybe never heard of that before. But the composer was Johann Sebastian Bach. And it's one of the most famous pieces of music ever written for the organ. Mm, it is so famous. It was written by Bach. Right around this time of year, you maybe hear it on commercials, maybe hear it in movies, maybe hear it on shows, maybe hear it, I don't know, lots of different places. This piece of music 
is so famous and was written by one of the most famous composers that we've ever had, Johann Sebastian Bach. So I have a description, I have a video in the description below. You can listen to that piece of music. It actually is really cool. They have some like lights and stuff and it looks very spooky, but he's really playing the, uh, the organ and it, he's doing a great job. So this Toccata in D minor, very, very famous. You know, there are other famous pieces of music that Bach wrote. In fact, there's another piece of music that is so famous that it's one of the most famous pieces of music for the piano, not the pipe organ. It's called Minuet in G major. Again, it's very famous, and again, Bach wrote it. Well, actually, people thought Bach wrote it. But as it turns out, trick or treat, little trick, he did not write this piece of music. People thought he did for a long time. It was in a collection that he put together, a collection that he put together of, of songs. And people assumed, oh, well, I guess Bach wrote this. Well, mm -mm. it was actually written by another man named Christian Petzold. Christian Petzold wrote a very, very, very wonderful piece of music for the piano that can be played by adults. It can also be played by kids. It's so popular, and people attributed it to Bach, but actually, Bach did not write it. Very interesting. For so long, people thought Bach wrote this piece of music, but he did not. Christian Petzold actually wrote this. So in the description below, I actually have that video too. So you can watch the first one, Toccata in D minor. That's written by Bach for the organ get in the Halloween spirit. Then, listen to the other one that people thought Bach wrote, which is called Minuet in G Major. That one's for the piano. You can actually watch the person play. It's pretty cool to see all the notes happen. So watch one, watch the other, and enjoy. fourth grade now, just to make sure that we are composing like Bach or like Christian Petzold. I want to make sure we're composing too a little bit, but I don't want to actually write things today. We've been writing things a lot recently, and that's great. We're going to take a little break from that today. We're going to actually be coming up with music inside our head. Knock my glasses almost off my head. Okay. We're going to come up with some patterns inside of our head. So let's use syncopation. I like to use syncopation. We're focusing on that. I'm going to come up with a pattern. I've got a good one. It's a pretty simple one. Ta di di ta di ta. It's a very well known one, okay? That's my pattern. Don't take that one. That's mine. It's my pattern, okay? It's four beats long. The first two beats are where syncopation is. Watch it again. Ta di di ta di ta. Can you come up with a different pattern? A different pattern that uses syncopation. So start with syncopation, but Maybe mix around your last two beats a little bit, okay? So think of something different, okay? Here we go. I'm going to do mine first, and I want you to do yours after I do mine, okay? Here we go. ta di di ta di ta Your turn. Good. Did you have syncopation over the first two beats? ta di di Did you come up with something different over the last two beats? Okay. Let's try a different one. I'm going to do the same one. I really like that pattern. That's mine. Don't take it. You come up with another pattern that's different than the one you did last time, but it's also still different than mine, okay? So use your brain a little bit. Think of some other rhythms that you might know or how you can use them differently. Here we go. ta di di ta di ta Good. Did you start with syncopation? Hopefully you did. Did you change the last two? Okay, good. Um, let's try something else now, okay? So you're going to come up with the pattern again, but this time I'm going to do one that does not have syncopation. Mine's not going to have syncopation. I want yours to have syncopation. Okay, so you're going to have ta di d Short, long, short. You're going to have that one. But mine's not. Okay, so here's my new pattern. ta di ta di ta ka di mi ta Did you make up a pattern with syncopation? Has to be different than mine. Definitely has to be different because mine didn't even have syncopation. Okay, let's try it again. I'll do one without you do one with. Here I go. ta di ta ka di mi ta ka di mi ta Good. Another pattern with. Okay, now let's do one more. I'm going to do one with syncopation. I want you to do one without syncopation. No syncopation this time. No syncopation for you. I get to start 
and mine is going to have syncopation. Here we go. Ta di di ta di mi ta. Good. Did yours not have syncopation? No syncopation. No ta di di. Okay. Let's do one more. I'll do one with. You do one without. Here we go. Ta di di ta. Good. Here's what you can do. Find someone at your house. Parents, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, dog. Not your dog. It's not going to work. But find someone, a human, in your house and see if you can do this together. See if you can come up with one and then come up with another one. But don't write them out. Come up with them inside your head and see if you can go back and forth. It's almost like a question and an answer. You get to ask the question and someone has to give you something different for the answer. So make up some music. Find a friend. You can do it by yourself too, but it's always more fun with a friend. Either way, keep on making music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next time, grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear? Over.